What's up, assholes? I'm stuffed. All I've had today was like four coffees, a monster, and 3D Doritos. Oh, oh, what do you mean 3D Doritos? You had 3D Doritos? Where'd you find them? How'd you get them? What do you mean, what do I mean? 3D Doritos, I got them from the bodega. Yeah, December 28th they came out. I haven't been able to find them anywhere. You got them at a bodega? Where? It's like 60,000 bodegas in New York City. It's Which one? It's one on the corner. Uh, the one with the cat. The one with the cat? Yeah. Um, yeah, there's about 92 of them with cats. Street? Nothing. We have nothing. Just with a cat. Just go around purring. You'll find one. The problem here is I have been calling every food marketplace, anywhere that sells food, all over New Jersey for 3D Doritos and no one will give me a straight answer. Walgreens, 7-Eleven, Quick Check, Kmart, everywhere. No one's got them. If you find the cat, you have to like rub its belly. I spent a full year tweeting and emailing Doritos for 3D Doritos to come back. And I get nothing? They don't offer me a free one? Nothing? You think you take me? Uh, I know you guys are leaving soon. I was thinking about just going after you left. Yeah? You gonna go get them? Good. I hope you go get them. Go get them, come back, choke, and then die. Feel better? So much better. Not 3D Doritos, but I mean. Nope, got the job done. They they hit the spot still? Yeah, those uh, the 3D Doritos, they it's a, I think it's a trigger for me. I think you need to uh, find those. Yeah. If I'll anyone get, out there the information for that knows or knows of a, a location in New Jersey where you have found 3D Doritos. Anywhere in New DM Jersey. DM snacks immediately. Anywhere in New Jersey. Have you or, looked up like where they're rolling them out? He's been calling stores, but like, there's no way they actually check. It's just some like lazy person. What about the like three D Doritos though? Like, what? They have no info. I tried calling them. I was on hold for like 45 minutes. I, was like, I can't do this anymore. You were. Yes. The amount of time never you happened. spent. Yeah, never I happened. don't think it happened either. 100. percent Call my brother right now. Never happened. Call my brother. Call his brother right now. I don't want to call your brother. You call his brother while he, I'm doing. He was the in intro. the living room with me. Call, call his him. brother. I'll do the intro. What's cracking, big dogs? Welcome, bike. To the channel, welcome back to the headquarters. Welcome back to the Fade the Public podcast. We have three people at the table. One's named Snacks. One's named Animal. One's named Nicholas. We also have a huge announcement coming up after this Yo. phone call. Yo, Anthony. What's up? I have a question for you, real quick. You're live on the Fade the Public podcast. I'm with your brother Snacksalis. He claims he was on the phone with 3D Doritos. Fritos Lays. Fritos Lays co customer service for 45 minutes. To find out where the 3D Doritos was. To find was. out where he could 100%. find. So we pathetic. drove to Lodi. We drove Thank to, you. Um, nice try, you fucking loser. So he never he never got on, on... He just said yes. No, no, no. But I'm saying he never got like got in touch with anybody no, at Fritos? No, I just no not, not a single person answered. Wow. What are they doing? I don't know. They're fucking This is us how all. they treat you, the guy who claims to have brought in 3D Doritos back. Yeah. Yeah, it's disgusting wow. behavior. Wow. All right, well. Do you think any less of the brand no now, Snacks? See you later, guys. See you. Thanks, Ant. Sorry, what? Well, told you. Does this type of behavior make you like them any less? Well, no. I think it's motivating me more. More than ever. In what sense? Because when I get them, then I'm, I'm going to buy them all. I think it's interesting. I want all of them. How... When the WWE bars came out, I found those like night one. Like, hey, these are out. Oh, those okay. Are, those animal found those within half an hour. Those legitimately were at all the bodegas within like five seconds. Of, they were of at every place here around here too. Yeah. yeah, those were amazing. We legit went. We were. We went to. We went to Walgreens and uh, not Walgreens. Walmart everywhere. Because apparently Walmart was where they first came out. That's Everything what, comes what, out of Walmart. Right. And then people realize it, and then they fucking beat each other. So asses. we went there. It took us like ten minutes to find a parking spot. We went in there, couldn't find them. Well, you know what? How many would you have bought if you found them? Would you have oh. like sold out the store? Oh my god, I would have bought like ten bags. Well, here's what I was gonna ask though. So obviously, it's different now because of COVID times with masks and everything. But would you have immediately opened the bag and tried them? Like, mm, are these like worth buying? Ten bags, or is it just like I tried it? No, like, I probably just buy them. Yeah, because it's not nacho cheese. It no, it's not nacho cheese. What it's is like, it? It's, uh, it's like nacho chi chili cheese. Yeah, which is still pretty much just gonna taste. I feel like, like it's cheese. gonna have like a. Beef is it, wait, like is it just nacho cheese? chili, or does it say nacho chili cheese? Because I was, it says cheese. So I was, I was listening to a pod sure. a podcast yesterday, and they were talking about how like I forget what the conversation was. It was about cheese, but it was about how like craft cheese is like the most popular type of cheese in chili America. Chili cheese nacho. 
Okay. Well, they were saying like Kraft cheese is like the most popular type of cheese in America, but since it's like fake and it's not actually cheese, Kraft is, they say like Kraft singles. They're not allowed to call wow. it Kraft cheese. Yeah. It's like fake. Yeah. The it's FDA is cheese. like, we will not tolerate this. Even and then an like, animal eats like 30 slices I of do. It. I will not. I don't fuck with, with Kraft singles. It's plastic. Plastic. It's not it's even disgusting. cheese. disgusting. But like, I mean, I don't want to talk about Doritos the whole podcast. I, mean, I don't we, we could, but these are very questionable flavors with the chili cheese nacho <laughs> yeah, I, I, and then spicy ranch. I want to know where they got those two. I want to know like, who the why fucking... Why not just do cheese and ranch like regular? I mean, even if you're going to do these flavors, that's fine. But also do... Like, regular. Cool ranch and, and nacho like, cheese. Right. Am I right? My point is I don't understand... I don't if, know if I can name a conversation. I'd rather... The reason have. for bringing them back was not just the flavor. It's the texture. It's what they are. Well, why yes. Not, why do something extravagant when you could just do that with a regular bag of Doritos? Listen, there's a reason I say this all the time. It's simple because most things are simple. You don't have to overcomplicate something like 3D Doritos. You know what's really simple? <laughs> this fucking giveaway that that monkey knife fight is making possible. We've got a big ask from the audience. A very, very, very big ask. We've never asked you for anything except That's for a lot, a lot of things we've asked you for. But we're gonna just we're gonna throw one more thing onto the pile. Beep boop beep boop. This is a sound warning. Please lower your volume immediately. I repeat. Please lower your volume immediately. Beep boop beep boop. Pile. Explosive giveaway! <laughs> Explosive giveaway! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Woo! Oh yeah, sorry everybody. Yo, fuck, that hurt. Oh, Scott, can you put a sound warning in there? I forgot people have headphones on. I'm that just going to go actually, deaf for the... Yeah, that... That could actually yeah. be bad. Give them a sound warning when I take that balloon out. How are they going to get a sound warning if they're on a podcast listening? <laughs> they're not going to see it. <laughs> you fucking moron. This giveaway is very easy. Okay. Thankfully, to the great people at Monkey Knife Fight, they're letting us run a promo for them, a campaign for the next month up until Super Bowl. We are like 35 signups away from hitting a very, very large bonus with them. This is where you guys come in, okay? We need your help. Yeah, we need your help bad. Otherwise, Animal will never eat again. And look at the man. His kids won't eat. He needs to eat. He won't even be able to buy into the town get down next year, all right? That's the biggest pitch I can give to you. He won't have any money. He'll be broke. He'll be dead within 36 minutes. We need you in the minutes. league. With an 0-12 season hanging over his head and depression setting in, can Animal take any positives away from this incredibly atrocious season? Think, think of all the, the losses. <laughs> so many L's. Not as many as he had this year, but a lot next year. Here's what we need. We need y'all to sign up for Monkey Knife Fight. But here's why. Because we're doing a giveaway. We're doing five giveaways. Five individual giveaways for first-time depositors. This will run now through the Super Bowl. We're, we're going to start small here. We're going to give away one Big Dog's hoodie of your choice. We're going to have one Big Dogs t-shirt. We're going to give one entry into a redraft league with us next year. Okay? Buy-in paid for by the Big Dog Truly. You're going to play against us. You're going to play against Scott. You're going to play against other guys on the team. We're going to do an entry into a Big Dogs Dynasty startup. If you've been wanting to get into Dynasty, we're going to give that away as well. So we've got four of those giveaways. The fifth and final giveaway... <laughs> is going to be a trip, all expenses paid for, <laughs> to the HQ. Oh <laughs> Animal said this was a bad idea. I think it's a great idea. I think it's a fantastic fucking idea. Thank you, Snacks. I didn't You're know welcome. what you were going to say. We're giving away... I'll be here for it. An all exp yes, you will. <laughs> an all expenses paid trip. And when I say trip, you're going to be here for probably one night. It might be <laughs> It might be the filming of Fade the Public. It might be when Animal goes into the woods to do his punishment. So you might actually be coming into New Jersey with me. You Date is TBD. Yeah, here's what I'll say about something the trip. Something memorable, though. It's going to be in the summer or maybe you know in the fall or something when things have opened back up and COVID will not be an issue when this is happening. But this is going to be round trip flights paid for if you are far away. This is only for people in America, though, okay? You, yeah, could, you could sign up and enter the other shit, like the t-shirt giveaway and uh, International Airfare. and fantasy football league entries and shit if you are in Canada, because they do let you deposit on Canada. This is first-time depositors on Monkey Knife Fight. When you throw down $10 or more, you need to use the promo code BDGE, okay? When you do that, you're going to get double your deposit on there. So if you throw down 10, they're going to give you 20 to play with. Just do the whole 50. Just be smart. Just be a beast. Yeah, just be a fucking savage. Well, that's what I did, and I turned into... $50,000. Zero dollars. <laughs> He's been fucking broke. This is why we need you to sign up. <laughs> yeah. We need you to send a screenshot of you doing that, okay? You could send it to our Instagram. Actually, send it to an email. Info at bigdogsfantasy.com. 
info at bigdogsfantasy.com. You could use the subject line like MKF giveaway, whatever you I want would, to throw it in. Email info at bigdogsfantasy.com. Use the subject line that makes sense with the promo. It. So we are doing five giveaways. One's a big fucking kahuna. You're going to get to meet Animal probably. You'll probably get to meet Snacks. I'll be there. This. Yeah, I mean, they're going to come. Animal's going to act like he hates it, but he's going to be the one that fucking plans the weekend probably. It's not my place. You'll so. probably be in a skit. You'll probably be in a vlog. You'll be crashing here. I don't know where you're going to be. Maybe on the couch, maybe in the bathtub, whatever. Take part in an episode. Yeah, you'll take part in an episode. You'll get to watch us film for a little while, get to hang out. We'll go out for fucking 32 margaritas. It's going to be a good ass time, okay? So you must mm. be 18 or older, but you also need to be 18 or older in order to play a monkey knife fight. Uh, scratch that. You need to be 21 or older because you can't drink here if you're only 18 I was gonna say yeah i'm not good with the logistics i'm just good i'm good in the moment not with the planning kind of shit that's where you come into play that's why you tell me this is a bad idea and i say fuck it anyways let's yeah. run with it so giveaway big time this is real shit unorganized but very real very very practical thank you to it. monkey knife fight for letting us run this promo and uh giving us some some money to let the big dogs come eat with us okay so monkeyknifefight.com promo code bdge when you deposit as a first time depositor today's episode we are going to give a little glimpse into next week's award show, and then we are doing an early first round mock draft for wow. 2021 fantasy football. This year just ended. Couldn't have ended soon enough for Animal, but he's ready for 2021. He thinks he's taking the crown. Huh? You going to sit at the top of the throne? I don't want to get too far ahead of myself. Doesn't wanna, sound confident. I don't want to put anything out there. I don't want to put anything, any bad. Any negative It energies. can't be any worse than it is. No RJs. I don't want anything, nothing. RJs win chips. You went to last place. Not, not if I RJ myself saying I think I'm going to win. If you're the MJ of RJs, you win the chip. No, I'm out. Award show. Big a one. Award one show of, next uh, week. If Probably our best episode last year. A lot of fun. Great editing. Without further ado, <laughs> our nominees are... Get her off I bet that girl wants a big bust on her. Man, who the fuck was up here before me? Austin Eckler? A Johnny drama comeback. Fuck. I can't read your fucking handwriting. No, he's a piece of shit. He fucking laid down throughout half the year, didn't do anything, he quit on his team. Why'd you spit in his fucking face? It's assault, brother. That's assault, brother. If you could do it again, would you take C-Nack or Kamara? <laughs> Alvin Kamara! I'm not mad at you. Oh. Oh. I was cold and I long for your embrace. Yo, Bozo, who you took your one-on-one? -on -one? The show's not over. Absolutely dreadful. Big trust. Daniel Jones drafted in front of me, that goofball. Josh Jacobs drafted in front of me. What draft are we talking about? Waiver wire fire ad of the year. This award goes to the forgotten man. The one that got left behind on draft night like Kevin McAllister did in Home Alone. Devontae Parker. Guy gets drafted in the first round and immediately disappears to Mexico. As soon as that statute of limitations is up on his child support payments, the guy comes back to the NFL and absolutely nails it. Come bike player of the year. Let's get it started. Oh, fuck. You want me to do it? No, I got it. I just didn't want to get it started. Great editing, terrible episode. But it was good because you if guys so edited facto. it well. Yeah. If so facto, Scott hit the intro. <laughs> We're going to give a quick glimpse into the categories for the award show animal. You have those names listed? I, uh, oh, we didn't solidify all of the names. Doesn't matter. But not the actual like people in it. No, Just I'm talking the about names the, of the names of the actual awards we have. So we're doing an award show. All of them yet. A full ass award show. That's like okay. Red, They'll see it when red carpets, on. performances happening, like a full ass award show next week. We're going to be giving away the fantasy awards for 2020. We need y'all to vote on the winners, though. We're going to link that in the description. It's just a fucking Google form. It'll have like the nine or eight categories for the award winners. We need y'all to uh, choose the winners for us. Okay. First time that's ever happened. Yeah, it's the first time in a BDGE award show history. Yeah. By the way, because normally we put together a bunch of candidates, some nominees, and then we just Keep going. I gotta get elect my them ourselves. This is a little different this year, so it's exciting. Obviously, the more of you that interact and you know, the more the of better. you that vote, the better, because we don't we don't want like 20 people deciding all of this. So make sure you get out there and you vote. Vote or die. <laughs> Vote or, or die. die. Um, all right. So the first, I'm not going to go in any specific order here. We're just going to name them so that you guys know. 
<laughs> There's no reason to ask that. Overrated. Go ahead. You can say. All right. <laughs> All right. So let's go through some of the categories for the nominees for this year's award show. Before we continue, I want to ask you guys, do we want to go through and name the actual nominees? No, or the, we're going to sit here and name 40 people. Just do the well, fucking categories. Do we want to talk quickly. a little bit about it? Like this award is the blah, blah, blah. This goes to the no, we so do, and so we do who, that on next so week's. and so. And so, so, and so. No. Because an award show, they say, this award is for the best whatever. No, no. Just say the category. All right, so if you want to find out who the nominees are, you have to go to the form to vote. And there you will be able to see who the nominees are. And then you can vote. Yes, that's how it works. All right, so the first one, but this isn't in specific order. We have the Waiver Wire Fire Screw. Award. This award goes to the waiver oh wire pickup of the year. One, we tell you not to do it. Two, you do the most I fucking obvious one ever. Help and, then myself. You, and then you do the subject. <laughs> waiver wire fire. What the fuck could that possibly mean? What do you think it means? All right. So the next category is the fantasy MVP. This award goes to <laughs> the player that was the most valuable during the season. All right. Now we got the... There's six more categories. We're not going to go over them. We're going to get into the mock draft because we're like 22 minutes in this episode. And everyone's fucking pissed. The mock draft is going to be quick, so don't worry about that. Every time we've never said we that and actually had a quick episode. Have the Come Bike <laughs> Player of the Year Award. This award goes to I'm the done. guy who excelled despite having a poor showing last season. Uh, the next award is the Stack Attack. What's that? That's when uh, you have a stack between two players, normally a quarterback and a wide receiver combo. Is so that, that this award is going to go to that wow. that guy. So it narrows out tight ends aren't allowed? You Another award that we will be giving out the award evening night it will be the Big Bust Award. What's, What's that? that? This award goes to the player <laughs> that was a bust during the season. What does that mean? They were not good. You thought they were going to be good. But they were not. Oh, here's an interesting one. You guys ready? This award is called the Fantasy Farce Award. Mm. What's that? This award goes to the player that you look at and you go, hey, he did good. He was good, right? But when you really look, they're a farce. And the last award, maybe there could be one more because we haven't really talked about We're doing the Prime the Rib name. Award. I, I like the Prime Rib. What, is that what it's called? We're going to do a prime rib award. All right. I'll, I'll say that. Guys after. that are apparently going to be in the prime next year, but they f fuck you. Go. All right. Go. Well, hold on. All right. So another award is the prime rib award. What the fuck? I this award goes to guys that are going to be in their prime, but they're not because they're already well done. <laughs> that, was, that, was that was very good. And the then the last award. Stupid fucking mouth. The rookie nookie award. This award goes to the rookie player who was fucking the most this season. That's, That's it. it. That's it. Those are the what awards. about the Go after vote. party? That was tough to get through. I'm not going to lie. What's up, man? For who? For That's, us. Uh, I meant for, it was tough to get through for us. I feel like that was the greatest moment of your life. That also felt like it was 25 minutes. <laughs> it was probably That's, like That's because it was 25 minutes. You ready to mock draft? All right, so make sure you guys go vote for those nominees. Yes, categories. only after you get this, you get to hang out with this motherfucker for a day. Deposit monkeynetbike.com, promo code BG. Rules and restrictions apply. Dent, this is doctor recommended. First round mock draft. So we're doing 12 teams, half PPR, no super flex. We no wanna, super flex. We want to get, we want to get the juicy players in there. We want to get the skill players. No one gives a fuck about a quarterback right now. So we're going non super flex, non tight end premium, just that normal shit. How dare you? Not well done, not prime rib. Medium rare. How dare you say no one cares about quarterbacks? Just medium. medium. That's the strategy. It's the year of the quarterback. Well, here's the, we'd have six quarterbacks go off the board if we allowed you to draft quarterback. I mean, right. you could still do That's it. That's a good point. I'm going to yeah, go first. I think I should have the first pick. Okay. We'll just do a snake. Yeah. One, two. Where do you want? It's three or five? Care. Whatever. Oh, we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, whatever. Seven, I don't 12. care. All I know the is math got too with high the for first. Ah, oh, shit. 
I have to do it. I'm sorry, Snacks. With the 101 for the 2021 redraft, redraft mock draft, I'm taking my man, Alvin Kamara. You're doing this again. So you've decided you're taking Kamara over Henry. Well, this is a this is a, this is a mock draft, but this is that's this, this is this is the analysis though here. This is your early this is your early glimpse. This into is what your you're guy. Doing. This is your your one on one. Understand that it. for ten thousand people out there, you are ruining Alvin Kamara when you do this. He's done. Like he has no chance. Whatever you do, the wrong you're gonna get a top four pick, and you're gonna have to choose between Kamara and Henry when you're on the board. That's why I just chose Kamara. Yeah. So that's is that a glimpse into what we? I chose say? Kamara. If you choose Henry, Kamara go pops again next year. If you choose Kamara, Breeze is not coming back. Taysom Henry Hill's probably made the rush for three thousand, not just two, three. Yeah. Wouldn't, wouldn't you know it? So you're gonna well it picks in. You can't change it. Now. Kamara, I know. Bro. I don't want to change it. I want to stick with my pick. Alvin Kamara at the one hundred one. Okay. That's it. Above. I mean, the guys that RB one finished this year. Here's the thing with him though. He's basically wide receiver out of the backfield. Like, we already knew that. Obviously, Drew Brees dependent. We're going to see what happens. But right now... Drew Brees is gone. He's dead. I know this he's gone, but like... Well, you just said we don't know. Quarterback dependent then. We'll see if, with it, is it gonna be, if it's Taysom Hill, he's not my 101. Wow, he okay. almost yeah. he almost ended up with 81 catches again for the fourth. Yeah. What did he have, like 77? 83. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's crazy. Two above. Yeah, that's wild. Yeah. 21 um, fucking touchdowns this year. Another 1,700 yards in scrimmage, only in 16 games. Like, what a fucking absurd year. You know who had an absurd year last year? Christian McCaffrey. That's who I'm going to take it to, yeah. And I honestly, Great value. Yeah, I mean, amazing value. I would have taken him at 101, but he slid all the way to 102. Uh, clearly banged up this year, but we saw what he could do. And I, I kind of hope, if I'm drafting him, Joe Brady's still there. So we could see what. That's why I said coming I, that's to the why, dome. That's why I coming brought it to the up. dome. Up. Joe Brady uh, getting an interview with Atlanta. They'll somehow fuck that up and probably hire like Marty Schottenheimer Stop. if he's still alive. <laughs> but I will take Christian McCaffrey. Probably catch 120 balls, uh, 2,000 all-purpose yards, 20 touchdowns, easy. 102. Anybody that's getting drafted. I feel like this is the same is issue with him <laughs> and it's gonna be. Kamara and McCaffrey are going to have like the same issue next year where like it's like quarterback, who's their quarterback? Are they going to get the same amount of passing volume that they normally do? I don't think it matters for I, McCaffrey. I well, he's, he's kind of shown Cam, to Teddy be, Bridgewater, fucking he was Taylor like 25 Heineke. 25 points a game with Kyle Allen. I don't yeah, think like it's like I, yeah, for C-Mac, right. it doesn't matter. Everything just runs through him. You know what's crazy? probably the one-on-one. He is, 100%. You know what was a crazy yeah. stat that Mike, Tag- <laughs> 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 that Mike Tagliere tweeted out the other couple hours ago? Alvin Kamara... Dalvin Cook, David Montgomery, and Derrick Henry. Those four running backs. Only running backs who finished with more 25-plus PPR games than Christian McCaffrey this year. That's Those four running backs. And Christian McCaffrey played, played, three, yeah, games. played in three games this year. Yeah. So when he's on the field, he's 25 points in your lineup every Minimum. fucking week. Christian McCaffrey's the 101, not yeah, Alvin 100%. Kamara. 100%. So I'm sitting there. I got him, baby. I'm at the 3-4. Christian McCaffrey. C-Mac at the two. <laughs> so I think the I, I think there's uh, I, I think there's three guys that can be debated here. I will probably let Saquon slide past me and let someone else take him at this point right now, coming off both the major ACL and MCL tears. I will take Derrick Henry at the 103 and Dalvin Cook at the 104. I think those two are kind of interchangeable. Right now, I just feel safer with Derrick Henry. It's just one, he just doesn't get hurt ever. Two, the work goes there every single game week in week out Dalvin Cook on the other hand he's had his injury history but he's like one of the very very few legitimate league winning backs where if you get him for 14 games you're getting a playoff spot right like not a lot of backs have put up 22 23 points per game and he's he's one of them so I'll take those those two guys who are yeah, stop, leading the don't charge. stop fading Derrick Henry told the people that like fade Derrick Henry like oh no, he's, gonna, he's gonna break down like he doesn't catch passes yeah, just, just shut up it that. doesn't matter just, shut this up. man just went for over 2,000 yards this, on the ground this man literally should have had 20 plus touchdowns this year and was robbed on the goal line week Probably after week times. after week it's not robbed not it's not robbed when Tannehill takes it that's mm. called stealing it's robbing not when it's his rightfully no it's not absolutely. Henry I would I would argue that Henry robbed Tannehill no there was like times where like it was first down the first and goal and what they didn't even you? like it's not even like they tried to run it with him and it didn't work it was like play action would you Jonu say, Smith would you say play action Michael Pruitt so they scored fucking play action Anthony did Berkster, they, did they get the, did they Berkow. get their end result did they get a touchdown I yeah but I didn't fantastic play calling but I'm saying there's Derrick a Henry, reason you, Derrick Henry, Derrick Henry had him. deserved <laughs> yeah. 30 touchdowns One, this year. You didn't, so I could this year. 
That's just, how it works. You deserved 30 so touchdowns. So we have Henry at the three. We've got Dalvin Cook at the four. Snacks back to you at the 105. Back That's to me. Interesting pick for you here. It is. To, uh, Ooh, your guy's there. My guy's your there. Your true colors well, are going to show here in multiple ways. Your guys yeah. are there, I should say, because... Oh, yeah, you know who my favorite running back is, and then you got the guy on my team. Yeah. So what we saw from this Giants offense was pretty putrid this year. And I, dude, Wayne Gallman. Louder right? for the people in the bike. Yes, Wayne Gallman was good, but Jason Garrett seemed to have more of a power run game, and Saquon's very finesse, so I don't know if that translates. I really hope Garrett's gone, which could change my mind. I can't believe but some team's going to about to give him a head coaching job again. I could honestly see him being a better head coach than an offense coordinator. Also, Wayne so, Gallman, he's not good. Is he going to get a contract good. anywhere? Not for not a good one. No, no, but he's like a, else, he's a very nice backup. He's yeah. not a starting one. Yeah, he fell into the end zone this year. That's what he did. They were at the goal he looked line. Really he good for like a minute though. No, he did. He did. Um, but I am going. I'm going to go Nick Chubb. I just no. Oh. No, I wanted no! Nick Chubb. <laughs> yeah. That was a twist. I thought it was between uh, Barkley and another player. Really? No. Yeah. I thought it was against between Barkley and Chubb. You did? I thought yeah. Chubb was going to fall maybe mm. to like the 7-8 spot. I was no. going to take Chubb just I, next. I just, maybe, why maybe, do you like Chubb? Why maybe you... it's recency bias that I just, just watching him on my team this year. Savage. When he came back, just unbelievable. I mean, he, um, didn't, he didn't He play... was not hurt by, by Kareem Hunt yeah. when they were playing. That Stefanski running game is just absurd. That's all they're going to do. He's going to get his touches. Finished the top 10 running back and didn't play awesome. for fucking offensive like five line, weeks. Offensive line is fantastic. Another year in there. Healthy. If he's not, if he's what? He's RB2 if he's fully healthy, right? I think yeah, he's top five easily. I mean, well, easily he's top five. Pure sure. runner, yeah. He's got to be right there with, with Henry. So, uh, but even like uh, fantasy-wise, he finished RB9 and he only played 12 games. Yeah. yeah. RB so. And he was splitting carries with Kareem Hunt. RB6, RB5 on points per game. Yeah. I mean, like, I have no argument with that, really. Yeah, I, just, I, 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 I think I they're players that are just as good three, there. Yeah, but yeah, like, absolutely. Nick Chubb, I, I'm going back to the well. I love the guy. He helped me bring this home. So, Nicholas Chubb. And he's got a great first name. Okay, so here's where it gets tricky because that was the last... Like running back that I really like, like obviously like Saquon, yeah, he's. I just so very we're all, in, we're all in agreement that like Saquon is not like. I don't think like he's a, a smash first like, round pick really right now. Feel well, good. I think he's definitely. I think 100 first, first round. round. But from right I think there, most spots he's going to go in the five. I think we'll see those four that we yeah. just listed off: C Mac, Cook, Henry. I just don't know Kamara. how comfortable I am taking him. There's going to be people that's my first round pick, especially after the year. Like like so, someone from like me who say you just had a bad year, you came in last place or like ninth or whatever. You're, gonna want that shirt you're not going to want to take a guy like Saquon with your first pick. Just because it just seems too risky. You want a short thing like, I Michael, want, like Michael Thomas, safety. Yes, exactly. Like Michael Thomas. Works no, I was going to actually going to go with Devontae Adams because as long as Aaron Rodgers is there, I'm not worried about Devontae Adams. Unless his like legs break, that's the only thing that's going to stop I him. I think Devontae Adams' targets go down next year because I think they bring they, they have definitely to add bring somebody. They have to add somebody, but I don't well, think In a it, sense, you could also look at that on the other side and say that – that just opens up the field more because now defenses are gonna have to worry about that. Either way, he's it didn't a machine. matter. They could worry no, about does, him, it, not it worry does about not him. Not matter yeah. whatsoever. That was the the point I was getting. To and this. I also have another pick, so I get to go again. And I'm gonna take Jonathan Taylor. I'm gonna take Jonathan Taylor. That's because who I thought you were gonna go with that five. Oh, because know. he's shown he's he's got he's he's a three down back. He could be a workhorse in the NFL. We already knew he could. He finally proved it at the end of the season. And I think that the Colts are going to actually use him that way now. We've seen him go for 100 yards like the past three games. He went for like 240. What did he do last week? It was insane. He's yeah. so fucking good. I love him. He's young. He's fresh. One of the best offensive lines in the yeah. league. Taylor I mean, Cat's out of the bag. With it's him. not even. It's over. Smash. Marlon Max free agent too. So he, he'll, uh, he's he'll likely be elsewhere. He's also coming off an Achilles injury. So like. Yeah. He, I Honestly, I totally forgot about what he just did in week 17 too. That like, should have been like Taylor fresh in my like mind. 250. Like, yeah. I would ra- like I feel much more I wasn't comfortable paying attention to the- taking Jonathan Taylor than Saquon. I was going to say, like yeah. I, I probably, at, at five, I probably would have went Taylor there. It's going to be interesting, though. Yeah, I would have went Taylor probably over Adams, too. I just knew I had the back-to-back pick, so. It's a bad process. Whatever. Fuck your, like, you know, like, let's mock draft. Take it. Shut up. It's like week 18. Who are you talking to? It's everybody. He wants to talk shit. Same. Taking names. It's a new season. Aren't already. they allowed to talk shit to you, though? Technically? No, it's a new season. I That shit's over. That's in the past. What NFL season is it right now? It's fantasy season. It's off season. No. It's, it's the fantasy off season. No thing as off season. It's the off season of the fantasy season. Did you send trades today in Dynasty? Of course. Then it's not the off season. Me and Scott can make a big trade soon. Yeah, don't make that trade. Gonna make that trade. It's a bad trade. Don't make that trade. Three first rounds. Tyler Boyd's not even. I could see if Tyler Boyd's a trade. first round value. Yeah. I could see maybe doing it that, that terrible trade. There's rumors that uh, Bengals could draft Jamar Chase, and then what? What? Why would they do that? Because they're not going to get Sewell. No. Sewell? How do you Go. say that guy's name, by the way? Crazy. 
Sewell. I don't even know, I think, how to, I don't even know how to say Robert Pen, Saleh. Pen, Penny Sewell. How do you say the fucking D, I think, for, I say 49ers Penny, D coordinator like name? Vodka. Robert yeah, Saleh? Yeah. Salad? We just going Penny Vodka Salad? I think, think it's food. Robert Saleh. It's just straight food. Names. I think it is Saleh too. All yeah. right, either way, I'm up. My dilemma is now between a guy you just mentioned that you had a dilemma with and. Running you, back dilemma here. Yeah. I'm going to take Barkley. Fuck. I, how could I not? At this point, all the way at the end of the first round, if he's coming back healthy, we know exactly what he could do. Yeah, granted, big if, big surgery. Uh, we saw AP do it. Barkley's definitely a freak of nature. So if I can get him back here, I can't really complain. I'm shooting for the moon with Saquon and holding my breath, crossing my fingers. But, I mean, if he's on, that's the steal of the draft. So. Yeah, this is where it gets tough because... Listen, like if if you're gonna win your league, you're one out of twelve players. You need league winning type players. You can either the, the I think the tier cuts off here for running backs. So it's I like you so, go yeah. Barkley or you go with a, a running back in the tier below, or you go the wide receiver and you're playing a little bit safe. I just don't think like the guys behind Devonta Adams, they're, they're nice staples for your team, but that just means you need to hit on like a, an RB one later in the draft or something. And I wouldn't. It's not I, easy to do after. after no, nah. I think it's getting easier. Obviously, I feel I still think it's important to take your 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 stud running back in the first. But I think like the the second and third round, there's still there are a lot of players. There's a lot of potentially top ten running backs that guys that like you would be like oh they'll finish like top you know fifteen to twenty, but they probably will finish top ten. Yeah, it's tough to uh, it's it's tough to decipher a lot of these things because there's still so much to go on in like free agency. Like, yeah, guys, I mean we're still not even into. So I get I, know, I get two picks right now. The draft. My first pick. I'm at the one. Is this one nine or one ten? All right, I'm gonna go with Adam Thielen here. I think. I'm just kidding. Um, Course. 9, 10, 11, 12. He's going yeah. to be my second pick, Animal. Don't worry. All right, so 9. 9 is going to be J.K. Dobbins. Nice. I like it. J.K. Dobbins Whoa. at the 109. I like it. This is where the hype starts. Listen, the hype is going to get here with J.K. Dobbins regardless. Might yeah. as well start strong. We might as well start like the fucking wave, start the early. trend. With J.K. Dobbins, I mean, we've seen what he's done over the last X number of weeks. He's going to be the primary ball car- carrier for Baltimore next year. And if you're the primary bo- ball carrier... Why am I so much trouble saying that? Uh, ball carrier for the Ravens. You're sucking a lot of balls. You're at, you're sucking a lot of balls, but you're also <laughs> averaging about six yards per carry. It was J.K. Dobbins. Gus Edwards does it. Mark Ingram does it. No matter who the fuck it is, you're averaging a lot of yards per carry. You're going to get a lot of touches because they run the ball more than any team in the NFL. And he scored like what seven touchdowns in the last six games. I think that's a preview of next year. Yeah, they're a rushing touchdown team. So busting off big games, uh, big fucking plays all the time. Uh, Thirteen for one sixty, two touchdowns the last game. I think we're going to expect a lot of that. I think that offense is just too good when it comes to running backs. And Mark Ingram's going to be out of the picture next year. Uh, they use Dobbins a surprisingly large amount on the goal line too. He's really good at getting into the end zone. I thought they were going to give more of those like Gus Edwards, but I think that's what we can expect uh, next year. You do wish that you know he caught a, a few more passes but i think when you narrow down the backfield uh, to like two players maybe that starts to siphon a little bit more his way but i think dobbins like is a, a sneaky a sneaky bet to score you know 13 to 15 touchdowns next year and could be a, an rb an rb1 overall honestly if uh if the position itself has a down year so i'll go dobbins there and then i, I kind of want to take aaron jones here but he's a free agent and i don't know what the situation is going to be there if he leaves obviously i don't think he's going to find a situation that's going to give him like more more touches slash more valuable touches for him. They also have to see what happens with Jamal Williams. Maybe they let Jamal Williams go sign Jones and have Jones and AJ Dillon do their thing together. So here, I think that's a bad use of resources for them, but I agree, but they're also known to use their resources badly. Poorly. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I, th- I think there's an argument for a lot of fucking players here. Don't mm. do it. Don't take them. I already got my last pick ready to rock and roll. Don't take him. I'm not, I'm not going to take him. Don't worry. Did you look on my screen? No, I can't see your screen. Did you look on my screen? Here's you the thing. I could see your like screen. you should, I, you should take Travis Kelsey here, but I'm, I'm just not taking a tight end in the first round. Hey, just, take, take I him. don't care how, how much of a positional advantage you think you have. Take him. Don't care. Don't fucking care. I mean, when you think about the tight end position this year, the fact that there was really only three like startable tight ends throughout the whole season. It's not that crazy of an idea. It's actually a pretty good idea. It's thinking of it's all fine. the depth available at every other position. You know what would be an even better idea? If you come back around and then draft Darren Waller. Skirt. Well, that's what I'm saying. But, like, outside, if, like, towards the end. Back like, to back. I like it at, like, the 112 to, like, start the run maybe. Or, like, yeah, the 2-1, you know. That's fine. Start the I run. Just, that like, you get your tight end, then you let everyone else fight over the rest. 110 here. I, I can't do it either. No, yeah, not a 110. I can't do Don't it do here. It I'll take it in the second round. I mean, we got him in the fourth e I had him. In, I have Kelsey going in a few of the leagues this year. And I mean, it was fucking obviously fantastic, but 
it just puts a lot of pressure on to hit on the other skill positions. It makes it a little, a little spicy for me. Uh, at 110, I will go with... Fuck it. I'm going to run with Aaron Jones there. Mm. I'm going to take Aaron Jones. Terrible pick. Wow. Just, just shit. Show Disgust. me how a good drafter drafts animal. Uh, not, it's not my turn yet. Yeah, it's because you're not good. See, yeah, all right. I was hoping you would take one of the guys that I was debating. I'm going to gonna take Tyreek Hill. Love it. That's who I'm going to take. Maybe I... Maybe because I want to talk about a position other than running backs after my three picks before that, and the fact that thank God I hit on Calvin Ridley in the sixth in E Town. Not having receivers kind of sucked, <laughs> and I have grown. I mean, dude, the guy scored like a touchdown almost every week too. So t- I'm, like I'm, get, I'm getting there. Yeah, 135 targets, 90 grabs, 15 friggin' touchdowns. I mean, yeah. every time you looked up, it was just like 52 yard touchdown on Terry Kill. The guys on stop. He had, me. It was be- fucking amazing. He had two oh, yeah. games under Love 10 him. points. One was he had like 8.9. He was. 15 or over every game. He's literally 17 touchdowns in 15 games. I just, I You're mean, getting like a seven point baseline right from the jump with him. It's, and then abso- it's absolute lunacy. On. Him, he's still got Mahomes. Kelsey, that whole field's wide open. Andy Reid's still coaching, calling the plays. Tyreek Kill rounds it out for me. Yeah, I can't argue against that at all. Try. I can't wait to see this. You should pick. try. Is that who, you, who are you going to No, pick? no, it's a great pick. I'm going to go James Robinson. James Robinson. Current, what do you finish? RB9, uh, 6, six yeah, seven, RB6, like whatever the fuck it was. I brought the stats up now, so I can't see. It's not my screen. But all I want to say is this guy had one game, half PPR all season, actually two games under 10 points. That was his first game. He had nine and a half. But you like that. You love 10 point games. I mean, he's a double digit machine. That's what I like. I want double digit points. The, the floor is 10 points. Should be your team name next year. The fucking 10 point floor, machines. this guy. And he's playing with, with Mike Lennon and Gardner Minshew. You know who he's going to be playing with next year? Most likely, it's going to be Trevor Lawrence. Justin Fields. Most likely, it'll be Trevor Lawrence. So, <laughs> I mean, first round, easy. The guy's a, a top 10 running back. Got a lot of cash. He's going to get worried about them that bringing line. In. You worried about them, one. You worried about, like, a new coach coming in. And since him since he's an un, undrafted, uh, guy. undrafted guy, you worrying about an, a running back competition? Nah. I'm not either. That's like the narrative around Twitter. I'm like, no. Well, well now it's just it's the. Office I feel like if you're like a young smart narrative. coach, you like no, like you have an undrafted guy who you're not paying anything. And it makes like, no sense. People's argument. They're like, just oh, bring in competition. I'm like, okay, like, why? I look at yeah, like do, the way I look at it is almost from a business perspective. Like, like you run this man to the ground. You're and, running and, a company, yeah, and like each position is its own. Like, okay, this is like my fucking asset guy. This is my marketing guy. This is my design guy. Could be, just because he went to fucking community college, he's not a Harvard grad. He does awesome his first year, and then you're just gonna be like, "I'm gonna find a replacement." Like, no, that's one thing you don't gotta worry about on your fucking chest anymore. You know what I mean? Like, leave James Robinson, let him fucking run a bike, and good to go. Yeah, I I, feel, I love him, Terrible and pick. the fact that he also had like there was at least one. I know one game where he had two touchdowns called back. He maybe had four or five touchdowns called back this season, but I know for a fact there was one game where he had two touchdowns called back. Should have had like a thirty point game instead. He finished, you know, with like eighteen or whatever. Interesting, but interesting trend. Yeah, he had so many things called back. I remember. He was he got oof. He played like every snap, every down. Got yeah, like this all man the was getting a thousand percent snaps. It, it's crazy that like he's twenty two years old. The OC, Gruden is still the OC there, right? I uh, think yes. No. Well, I don't, I don't know if they're going to keep be, him though. Yeah. Yeah. Marone's fired, so he's. Not yeah, I think they're going to do like a fresh like overhaul. Like, yeah. listen, baby, we we the Jacksonville Jaguars were coming. How that you, that might be interesting because you don't know. Someone might come in and kind of make it a little bit of like a committee there, just because Gruden went did the same shit with Fournette when Fournette was wildly inefficient, and then they let James Robinson kind of. Well, take based over. on right now what I know, James Robinson. But you don't know anything. Well, what did I know? Exactly nothing. That's what was just said. Fool. So are we good? That's twelve. Yeah, I mean, if you that's want, a fun, I'll, that's a fun my recap my it. other my other switch pick would be Kelsey to start the run, but you know, it's crazy that we didn't ask. And you just said it anyways. No love for uh, you're gonna put Eckler. that around your neck real quick. <laughs> I debated taking Eckler at ten just to see his reaction. All right, I'm oh, going yeah. back. I'm taking Eckler at ten. You should take Miles Sanders. Oh, <laughs> you should go one in thirteen. <laughs> I did, <laughs> yeah, and so did I. All right, so that's the mock draft. Yeah, run it through. Run it back. I didn't, I didn't write it down. What the fuck did we pay you for? Kamara, C Mac, Henry, Henry Cook, 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 Chubb, Taylor, Adams, Adams, yeah. Taylor, Adams, Taylor, Same shit. Saquon, Saquon, Aaron Jones, Jones Dobbins, 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 Dobbins Jones, Jones, Hill, James Robinson. Boom! There you have it. The way too early, 2021 mock draft redraft mock draft. Any other? Adjectives, nah. Okay, let's uh, let's get into some of our favorite monkey knife fight picks because these games are live. 
They are on the air, monkeyknifefight.com. They have the playoff matchups up and buzzing. I'm going to start us off with the Baltimore-Tennessee game. Again. Oh, no. You said you weren't doing do that. The, I was doing the Baltimore-Tennessee game. That was game. what I said, and you were like, that's a terrible game to bet on. That's why I said it. Yeah, it's fucking bullshit. You said you were going to do the no, Indianapolis game. I changed it. I don't give a nah, fuck. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Whatever. I'm going to win. You're going to lose. Monkeyknifefight.com. Use promo code BG when you deposit. Send a screenshot, and you're going to be coming here, and you're going to be able to wipe animals' ass for him when he takes his shit. Ryan Tannehill. Over. No, I didn't even pick my game yet. Wow, what a fraud. You okay, no, that? I got it. Uh, Ryan Tannehill, passing yards. What's the name of the game? Uh, I actually lied again. <laughs> I don't know which All one. All right, I'm going to do because, mine. Yeah. I'm going to do a... Oh, hold on. He's hurt? <laughs> hold on. Jonathan Ooh. Taylor hurts. He's got an injured nah, shoulder. No, he's not. He's what playing. is that? He's playing. Shut up. What is that? Oh, you're doing this game? What game are you doing? Same one. All right, do a different game. I got it, more or less. No, I don't got to go. Uh, <laughs> all right, I got it. Wait, I got it. I got <laughs> it. Since I'm the only one that's got it. I'm uh, going to do a touchdown dance in Indianapolis and Buffalo because I think there's going to be a lot of touchdowns. Uh, we're going over three and a half combined between these three players. John Taylor, Stefan Diggs, and get ready for it. Let's get to Dawson Knox. Dawson fucking Knox, baby. Right. What a waste of a player. What yeah. are you talking about? What are you explain talking about? Why, yeah. we'll explain why Dawson Knox is the player. Grit. It's playoffs. Yeah, you, you, don't, feed, you don't get points you for feed grit. feed the players with the most grit. You know how many touchdowns Dawson Knox has this year? Probably seven or eight. Like three. If he played a whole other season, he well, he's got. Well, he's got – all he needs is one because Diggs is going to get three and Taylor's going to get one. So he just needs one for me. You're going with five? No, three and a half. So uh, Dawson doesn't even really got. So he's got touchdown dance. Those three players need to combine for over three and a half touchdowns. Yeah, so they need four. So basically, Quattro. you have two players in your lineup because I Dawson Knox is not getting in the fucking end zone. Dawson Knox will score. If you trail Snacks' pick, send him a screenshot of you losing your money. You ain't going to lose. You're going to win. Animal, what do we got? Mine's a 5X, more or less. I'm doing the Browns-Steelers game. Question marks about this game with the uh, coaching staff for the Browns yeah, being compromised. Sucks. I mean, it's very Brownsy though. It's, it it's, really, it's, it's right really the cue. Browns on cue. Right so, on all right, what I'm going to do here is I got to do the more or less. I'm doing Ben Roethlisberger more than 280 and a half passing yards. I'm doing Baker Mayfield more than 265 and a half passing yards, and I'm doing. Jarvis Landry, more than five and a half receptions. Actually, I'm going to go like less. That last one. I'm going to no, go less. More. <laughs> I couldn't hate this bet more if I tried. <laughs> I want the quarterback to go over his his passing yards, but I want his number one receiver to go under his completion, his receptions. <laughs> what okay. fucking sense does that make? Okay, we're going bike to the <laughs> Titans and Ravens game. We're going to go rapid fire. You just need to hit... Two out of two, and you're going to 3X your buy-in. So rushing yards, they're giving J.K. Dobbins 71 and a half Under. to Derrick Henry. No, like Less. he has to have oh. 71 and a half within oh, Henry. Oh, it's against Shut your mouth over there. <laughs> Stop chiming in. Derrick Henry rushing yards, 71 and a half points, 71 and a half yards he's given to Dobbins. I'm going to take Dobbins there. Absolutely. That's ridiculous. I think uh, Dobbins has been fire as of late. I think he'll probably get up to like the 70 to 80 yard mark. And I think Baltimore is going to sell the fuck out in order to just stop Derrick Henry. So, I mean, he's probably going to go for like a buck 20, buck 30. But that just means that Dobbins needs to be in the 60 to 70 mark, which yeah. I think is reasonable. Should be able to do. Passing yards. This is where it gets tricky. Ryan Tannehill projected to have 51 and a half more passing yards than Lamar Jackson. I think it happens. I think Baltimore is going to have their way with the Tennessee defense, which means they're going to keep it on the ground. I think J.K. Dobbins, like I said, is going to have a big game. I think since they're selling out to stop Derrick Henry, it's going to mean good things for Ryan Tannehill. Ryan Tannehill, 70-yard tugger to A.J. Brown. Right there, it wipes out that deficit. So we're going to go Ryan Tannehill over the Lamar Jackson 51.5 passing yards, and we're going to go with J.K. Dobbins getting, getting 71.5 on the ground. You throw 10 bucks down, you're going to win 30 from it, plus your 10 back, plus an extra 10 because... You use promo code BGE when you deposit. We're just making like a, a zillion dollars here. Yeah, a lot of money. Tons of money. The most money. More Too money. Much. Than, more money than animals ever seen in his life. I'm, I'm, I originally wanted to do my touchdown dance for the. Uh, here we go. Well, originally I was going to do a touchdown dance for the uh, Ravens Titans game because I liked the over three and a half touchdowns with Derrick Henry, J.K. Dobbins, and uh, Marquise Brown. 
shit. Four extra money. I put five dollars on it. So look at this. <laughs> I don't know why this makes me laugh so much. Can you not read? racing on Tuesday. Just like the react the the, the LeBron James mm-hmm. picture made me laugh. So I lock that in. I'm gonna make twenty bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Good like, why is Richard Higgins getting know. cited for drag racing on a Tuesday before a playoff game? What Love beast. that. I can't believe we did mock draft a week after the season. <laughs> I think we I'm always ready. do. I think we always do a way too early. We do always do like the week after the way too early. You're mock getting draft. worse and worse. At I feel like animal. this was a very, very disorganized episode. So apologies. This, this was a terrible. Apologies episode. to Scott. Without a doubt. Who has to edit I think this? you know what it is. You know what it is. It's a it's a game in the NFL. It's a look ahead game. We're so excited for the award show next week. Well, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm looking ahead to the award show, and I think so it's like one of those and everyone loses or we lost this episode. I think it's yeah. still yeah. like we'll after the, we'll the, eat it. the full season. Yeah, we're still like hungover. We're just, yeah, we're hungover. Yeah, we're not in the mode. We, we're not in off season mode because it's still like shitty winter. And yeah, like, we never had like football still an actual like we got a fucking we got a we well we never had a break ever. Virus no, but you know what I mean. Like had a break last year, but like you guys kept going with. One chains. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah, I might do that. No, I won't do it again. I wish, but like, we should all actually do that, like vacation, like you two run the show, and then me and you, and then just like each take single breaks. Yeah, no, I'm we down. should just like take, vacation. We should, we should just, just take one vacation. We should just together. take a vacation <laughs> together and film like an episode on vacation. Do you want to? Let's rent a cabin in the woods and do fucking. Oh, I, I still want to do we'll the RV idea, like just travel in the RV. Yeah, I want. I, let's let's do like a three week RV trip. This Whoa. Yeah, I'm down. A lot of time. Yeah, no, I wasn't counting you in on that. Like you're welcome to, but I kind of you can you come for a come. week. We do it after and, like, football fly season. Fly home from anywhere. Do it before football season. Maybe like in the summer, no, like, like after the playoffs. Yeah, we're yeah. not doing it like next week. Yeah, <laughs> we have to plan it, you idiot. Thank God. No, we'll do it when things are. But why do you even care? Like your team's. Whoever wins the trip to New York, you're actually watch. you're actually getting off your plane and getting onto an RV with us, and then we're going for three oh. weeks. We'll drop you back off at home. Yeah, How's that? So we'll just drive you home. I knew I had the, I had the logistics in here. <laughs> That'll be the whole promo. Like you fly to us, we drive you home. <laughs> That'd be sick. <laughs> we meet your parents, everything. Nope, yeah. just drive you home. Is your Make sure you single? get inside. Really? Yeah, must have a single mother in order to participate. And of twenty four ages or above. Are you acting like you need a 24 or above year old? You fucking. Oh, because it gets cunt. a little creepy after that. Anything under. Yeah. yeah. She better be 18. <laughs> All right. Little, that's a little we'll, weird. We'll sell at 18. That's a little weird. Is it snacks? Yeah. It Love is. That. Pretty fucking weird, you weirdos. All right. Make sure you guys. Uh, Not like I'm a weirdo. Vote. Make sure you. <laughs> vote or die. Yeah. Yeah. Vote oh, or yeah. die. Make sure you sign Award up for Monkey show. Knife Fight. Monkey Knife Fight. Make sure you. Kill me. Kill Nick when you come to his house when you win. <laughs> yeah. Imagine and, the and, person um, killed me. Whoever killed do you know how petrified I was? I thought I brought I think this that's home all we have. Neighbor. That would be fun. I didn't ask you for two days because I was petrified. Oh, no. Welcome to 2021. Oh, yeah. That's right. Happy New Year. I guess. Bye. <laughs>